Bitte, ist sie drum gut? How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some super creepy things that have been caught on camera that are starting to freak the internet out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Many of us had imaginary friends as children. It seems that it's all part of growing up. But what if these friends were not so imaginary after all? Take a look at this photo uploaded to Facebook by user Laredo Paranormal Stories. In it, we can see that there appears to be a second figure next to the boy in the blue shirt. The figure's face looks pale, even skeletal. Its hair appears disheveled and wild and its body almost seems to be a black void. The photo was captured by the poster's husband. The poster believes that it shows their son playing with his imaginary friend, Pauline. It seems that the picture freaked the family out so much that shortly after it was taken, they decided to move home. Despite the figure's creepy appearance, several viewers thought that it didn't look as though it posed a threat to the boy. In fact, one viewer even suggested that it could have been the boy's guardian angel. So what do you think this photo shows? Is it really the child's imaginary friend? If it is, then one has to wonder whether or not she followed the family to their new house. In this next video, we see Mexican paranormal researcher Alberto Del Arco as he investigates a mysterious place named the Desert of the Lions. The area is said to be home to many paranormal manifestations and it isn't long before he catches something unusual on camera. Take a look. Cuidado atrás, no te saques. Ay, cabrón, te juro que se me hizo ver alguien pasar por allá. Por allá. Como si se hubiera cruzado. At first, it's rather hard to notice. However, if we slow the footage right down, you can see a ghostly shape moving past the bush. The investigator continues his exploration of the area and is soon startled when an object suddenly falls to the ground. Eventually, the YouTuber reaches an old property deep within the woods. Después de un rato, hemos vuelto nuevamente a la casa. Está peligroso, güey. Estar así por la noche no. He and the cameraman begin searching the nearby trees. Deberíamos de buscar el camino al coche nuevamente. Ajá. ¿Qué fue eso? Sí, ¿qué fue? However, as they do, the cameraman inadvertently manages to capture a dark figure moving in one of the windows. Take a look. ¿Viste ese tronco? ¿No te da la impresión de que fue una niña? Como de una niña. Again, it's hard to see, but when the footage is slowed down, it becomes more obvious. The investigator continues to search the area, but soon decides to leave and the video abruptly ends. So who or what could this mysterious figure have been? Was it a person or perhaps something supernatural? Let me know your theories on this sighting in the comments down below. No te la impresión de que fue una niña, como de una niña. Is there really an afterlife? If so, can the living and the dead somehow communicate? If you're a non-believer, then this photo uploaded to Reddit by Crypto Knight Ten might just change your mind. It shows what appears to be words etched into glass. The poster claims that they noticed it one day while taking a shower, and that it wasn't there before. The scratchings couldn't be wiped away either as they're actually inside the double pane glass. After posting the photo to Reddit, one viewer thought that they might have decoded the message. They believe that if you make the image black and white and adjust the exposure, it looks like it says, my death is okay, sorry it hurts you. 
When the poster was asked by another viewer if they had a relative that it might be, they replied, Yes, I do actually. My best friend was my cousin. He was a professional baseball player. He died in a motorcycle accident a few years before I saw this. So take another look at the photo and let me know what you think it says in the comments down below. Ever wondered what strange, undiscovered creatures might be lurking deep in the wilderness? If it's never crossed your mind, then this photo uploaded to our Slaptam subreddit by ZestyClosead4391, it might just make you think about it more often. According to the poster, the image was captured by their friend. It shows the woods of Kentucky as their family were traveling to their cabin. At first, it seems completely normal, dense foliage by the side of the gravel road. However, if you zoom in on the left-hand side of the photo, about halfway up, you can see something that will likely give you chills. It appears to be a large dog or wolf-like creature. It has piercing wide eyes and it looks as though it's snarling, revealing large sharp fangs. It's even been suggested that the creature resembles a werewolf. So what do you think this beast might be? A large dog or wolf perhaps? Maybe a bear? Or could it be some sort of cryptid yet to be discovered by modern science? Unfortunately, for now, the creature's identity will have to remain a mystery. These days, it seems the best scary footage is often captured on security cameras. This video uploaded to the AMA Media channel on YouTube certainly seems to prove that point. Take a look. Judging by the timestamp, the clip was recorded a little after 2 a.m. At first, it looks like it shows some sort of creature walking into view. However, after a few seconds, you can see that it's actually a person walking backwards on all fours. The figure shuffles slowly past the camera until it eventually disappears from view. Apparently, another camera was able to catch the figure's movements, this time as it makes its way down an alleyway. Watch. As it approaches the camera, its face comes into view. It's pale and appears to have dark, sunken eyes. While there's little denying that these clips are unnerving, one keen-eyed viewer noticed that the figure in the first video appears to be wearing a dress while the figure in the second video does not. There's also no timestamp in the second video, making it difficult to prove the two clips were recorded at the same time. Despite this, these videos are sure to creep anyone out that sees them. Imagine checking your security camera in the morning only to see this thing crawling past your window at 2 a.m. On September 19th, 2022, a mass UFO sighting occurred in both San Diego and Tijuana. In this video, posted to Reddit by DD32X, we see various clips of the incident captured by several different people. Take a look. It's unclear whether it's one lone object or several bunched closely together. <laughs> <laughs> While it was initially suggested that the lights might be military flares, the poster disagrees, 
noting that they appear to be in formation and don't follow a typical flare pattern. Witnesses to the event claimed it lasted for around 25 minutes. In two of the videos, you can actually see a helicopter circling near the lights. Looks to be a military helicopter. Uh, those are like normal, but I wonder if he's going, he or she, whoever's flying it, are going out where the lights are. Adding to the mystery, this image shows the flight patterns of two aircraft that were in the vicinity. Interestingly, the plane in red supposedly shut down its transponder. While there's been no official word on what the lights actually were, this suspicious activity certainly does make you wonder. Was this a genuine UFO sighting? We'll keep you posted if and when more information comes to hand. And looks to be a military helicopter. Uh, those are like normal, but I wonder if he's going, he or she, whoever's flying it, are going out where the lights are. Before we take a look at a creepy image that was captured in Portugal, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be notified every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. This last image on our list was captured by Reddit user JH5992. While staying in the mountain range of Arabida in Portugal, they saw a fox in the middle of the road and decided to take a picture. However, it seems that the photo has also captured something more mysterious. In the back, there appears to be a white human-shaped figure. The poster notes that the picture was taken near where they were staying and that they had four people standing behind them, all of whom swear that there wasn't anyone else around when the photo was taken. So could this photo show a ghost? Or is there another way to explain the mysterious figure? Unfortunately for now, there's not much other info to run with other than this creepy image. So let me know where you land on this and share your theories with one another in the comments down below. Well, that's the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you can't get enough of our content, then check out these two links right there. Leave us a comment down below and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us out. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.